everyone wants to move to Dubai. So before, years ago, raw. Oh, Suki, where the fuck did that comment go? But anyway, shit. Everyone wants to move to Dubai. So years ago, um, and still now anyway, like everyone wants to move to America. Everyone wants to move to America. Now, people want to move to Dubai now. That's, that's the new one. Yeah? Especially during like, um, I'll say within the last six months, because I think like Dubai was one of those places where you could go and party or whatever during the COVID or whatever, innit? I hear a lot of people talk like, yeah, I want to move to Dubai, I want to move to Dubai. Bro, you don't want to fucking move to Dubai, blood. Yeah? Do you know how hot that fucking place is, blood? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. People watch TV and that. Think, yeah, man, I want to move to Dubai and that. Do you know why? Because you're thinking about partying and that. You're not thinking about living in certain places. You know how many people I know say to me, yeah, I would love to live in Jamaica. I would love to move to Jamaica. Blood, you don't want to move to Jamaica, fam. Yeah, don't get twisted. Like, you get me? I can't say that's my that's my motherland, but it ain't my home. Cause I never grew up there. But that's the motherland, innit? Man loves Jamaica, innit? Yeah, you get me. Man's got the flag. Yeah, man loves Jamaica, innit? But I would not want to move to Jamaica. I am staying put in in a England. Yeah, I love I love being Jamaican and that, but I would never want to move to Jamaica. Yeah, they ain't got the facilities. They ain't got the fucking amenities like how England has. Yeah. You do not want to move to fucking Jamaica. People want to move to Jamaica that I know. I know British-born Jamaicans who say I want to move to Jamaica because they're thinking about being on holiday. They ain't thinking about getting a job. They ain't even thinking about, third of all, they ain't even thinking about living in that heat. Yeah? Let alone getting a job. Trust me, if you ain't been to Dubai, yeah, or if you ain't been to one of them Arab countries that are on the equator, yeah, but you don't know about fucking heat, yeah, we might have a heat wave in England and you look like, oof, yeah? But in Dubai, it's another level. It's not a fucking joke. You see the air is fucking... The, the moisture in the air, yeah, you can't... Well, I'm not saying... I can't, I'm not going to say you can't breathe, but you can feel claustrophobic even being outside. That place is so hot. It's not a fucking joke. Now, I went there in, in September, which is obviously going to be like one of the hottest parts of the year. So I don't know what it's like during the winter and that, but it's 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 not it's not nice out there in my opinion. Yeah, but people just want to go out there just to to rave and that. What do you know about getting a job out in Dubai? What do you know about how the economy runs? Do they have the equivalent of NHS? I don't know because I think it's all tax free out there. So to me, if everything's all tax free, then you must have to pay for your own healthcare and that. But people just see the flashy, look, this fucking, and where are these ants? Well, I know where they're coming from, but why, why, why are they coming into my yard for? But anyway, yeah, like a man said, the laws are strict out there, bro. You know, when I went to Dubai, yeah, me and my brethren jumped on the train, yeah, we got off the, we got off the aeroplane now, innit, boom. We've jumped on the train now, innit. We've got on the train and there were no seats available because there were some women sitting down on the seats on this carriage. So we jumped on the train and we're just standing up and some women, they were just looking at us or whatever, innit? Whatever, innit? So we looked to our left and we're like, yeah, fuck it, can we go over there, innit? And go and sit down there. So boom, so we go and sat down now, innit? When we walked from one carriage to another carriage, I looked on the floor and I saw a pink sign on the floor saying women only. And I said, oh my days, man. Like, the segregation on the transport in Dubai. There's women only, and then there's mixed sections, yeah? So there's a section where only women can sit down and stand up. And then there's section, there's another section where it's mixed, men and women. So it's probably for the women that might be with a man, and they don't, they, for some reason, they don't care. They, they don't mind standing up with a man or whatever, innit? Yeah. But they got segregation now. But you can get a fucking fine, if not get arrested, if you're in a woman's section. Now, obviously, if you're a foreigner or whatever, they'll probably just tell you to move on or whatever, because you don't know. But even when I was on the train in Dubai, they call it the Metro, there's a sign above the door saying, no, um, 
no drinking water. Yeah, you can't even drink water on a fucking train, bro. And no chewing gum. Definitely no smoking. No drinking water on the train, bro. This is what I'm talking about, Harry. You don't want to move to these 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 other countries, man. We got it good over here. True stories, fam. True stories, because basically, like, the reason why my friend, um, sorry, the reason why they have segregation is because my friend thinks they might have had, like, a groping problem. So basically, in Japan, the men used to touch the women on the trains. So, you know, like, before COVID, you know, like, on London Underground, you will be, like, packed in, like, sardines. They were pushing up on the, yeah? Apparently in Japan, they had a problem where men were trying to touch up women and some leaky shit like that, innit? Yeah. So my friend said that they might have been doing that in Dubai as well, possibly. So that's why they might have the segregation. Now, it, they might just have the segregation because it's, it's an Islamic country. That, that probably, that's probably why. But he said it might be to do with a groping problem. But more than likely, it's because it's, it's an Islamic country. So, you know, they don't they want to segregate men and women uh, or at least give women that kind of freedom and that space. But yeah, it's probably between the groping thing and the um, the segregation because it's an Islamic state or whatever. Really cool. Man like Justin Wagwan, fam. What are you saying? Yeah. So yeah, there's, my friend said to me, because I never even heard about that groping thing, but yeah, uh, my friend said to me that there was a groping problem in Japan. So when we was in Dubai, he said that might be the reason why they have segregation on the trains and that. Either that or it's the Islamic State. So, but yeah, that Dubai, people just want to go to Dubai because they feel like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I had that family member who, the girl went to fucking America, to Atlanta, just to wing it, just to wing it. No plan, you know, no business set up, no job. Nothing. Just gonna go out there to wing it. Why? For one, things not going in the UK. Her life is shit. Probably ain't got no man. You ain't got no purpose in life. You're just existing. You're not living. So you wanna go to another country because you feel like being in another country is gonna solve your problems. No, you are the problem. You're not in some shit country where things not go on. This is England. Yeah? Well, fuck England. We're in London because there's nothing going on outside of England, ah, London anyway. But you're in London or you're close by London. There's opportunities, blood. There's opportunities. Yeah? So she went to, to America to live the American dream. Blood. She came back after a year. Didn't achieve nothing. Not went out to America try their business and failed, that's all right. If you go and try, I, I don't care, that's good. If you fail, that means you're trying something new. No, 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 no. She went out to America just to wing it, no business plan, no job, no nothing. Came back a year later. What the fuck was the point? Like, even if she went to go backpack hiking or whatever, then yeah, cool, you're going out there to enjoy yourself, but you're going out there because you feel like your problems are gonna be solved. No, fam, you are the problem, blood. We're not in Africa or in the middle of nowhere where there's no, like, you're not in Papua New Guinea where there's no opportunities or you, you're not in Jamaica where opportunities are limited. You're in London, fam. Man are really hiding inside parts of the plane to get to the UK. But you want to leave? <laughs> you want to leave, fam? Then I'll tell you all that story. Like, my mum told me, and this is a true story, some African man fell out of the sky and hit the concrete in a white man's back garden and cracked the concrete. So basically, a man, one African man, must have climbed inside the plane somehow, yeah? And somehow he fell out of the plane in mid-air, yeah? He froze in mid-air, yeah? Because you have to remember, the planes are high up in the sky. Yeah? The reason why it's so cold up there is because when you're close to the ground, the ground gets heated up by the sun. So therefore, the higher you go up, the colder it's going to be because there's no ground to get heated up by the sun. 
So up where the plains are, yeah, it looks nice and sunny and yeah, nice and blue skies and shit. Blood, it's like minus whatever up there. The guy froze in midair. He came crashing down. You know, like when the fucking when when they um, shoot a rocket up into the into orbit and it comes down. And, yeah, my man come crashing down. He landed in a in in some white man's back garden, probably in the middle of Hertfordshire or something like that. And he cracked the fucking concrete on the floor. Imagine, imagine you're sitting up, yeah. Sunday morning, cup of tea in your hand, reading the Sun newspaper, looking at that page three model, and bam, one black man come and crack your concrete. How about you have a fucking heart attack, bro? This is the shit that men are doing to come to the UK, to come to London. And you want to leave? Yeah, this is how desperate men are. Yeah, you know, you hear about them men there who, they're in, they somehow get to France from Africa, and then they climb inside people's cars and all that. They climb underneath. So basically what they do is um, they smuggle themselves inside um, lorries and that. Inside the lorry, you can lift up the floorboards, which is in the back part of the lorry, and they're hiding underneath there and shit, just to get to the UK, fam. I see all the time, like, them border force programs and that. But, yeah, like, even if you're not even in London, e Essex is almost like London. You're on the outskirts, yeah? A lot of people who work in London don't even live in London. Um, a lot of them outskirts, Essex, um, Bromley, Hertfordshire and that, 15, 20 minutes on the train, bam, they're in central London and that. But yeah, people are trying to come to London or at least the outskirts because there's opportunities. And you want to leave? Come on, man. You want to go to places like Dubai? Come on, man. Then, man, they'll lock you up just for looking at someone the wrong way and that. Yeah? Oh, you don't want to go to them countries, man. Stay your blood plot in the UK. You want to go to Dubai.